pets on set now. So now that it's Tuesday, of course, Nancy Orr from the Canyon County Animal Shelter is joining us with this rather, uh, I don't know if we should call him portly guy, this, this larger guy. <laughs> He's a, also. Little, a little pudgy, yes. A little, little pudgy. I think part of it, though, honestly, though, is his fur. He is pretty plush. And Oso, though, is a perfect name because that, of course, in Spanish is bear. And, right. you know, uh, what are we looking at? A dog or a bear here? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this is Oso. Um, he's a six-year-old Australian cattle dog mix. Um, he came into our shelter. He was transferred from another shelter, okay. a smaller shelter out of the area. Um, so he's looking for his forever home. Um, being six years old, he's pretty easygoing. He definitely is looking for a walking partner. Some people are already thinking about New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to require too much exercise, but enough to drop some weight. Um, and and I did want to ask too, uh, he may have some extra pounds, but is part of it his breed? I mean, part are they kind of stocky they like They are. That? They're okay. really easy keepers, as I call them. So it doesn't take much to, to keep the weight on him. Okay. Um, he's dropped a little bit of weight since he's been at the shelter, and that's mostly stress. And yeah. he is getting some exercise from our volunteers. Um, he seems to like everybody he meets. He's easygoing. He's quiet. Um, clean in his kennel, so he probably just needs um, a little refresher course in house training. Probably be better with older children, probably over 9 or 10, just because the tendency of these little dogs are also called healers. They can heal little children's legs when they get to running and screaming. Oh, okay. So we usually recommend uh, older children, just so they don't, if, they, if he does get excited, we don't want him nipping little children's heels or, or yeah. legs. And he, he has some power behind him, too. He was jumping up on my lap a little bit earlier, and I was telling him that he's going to make my dog Lizzie a little <laughs> jealous, because she's going to smell you when I get home but he's got a little bit of power behind him when he jumps he does, he's he got does. some muscle uh -huh, so definitely but he's a nice compact size and and how long has he been in the shelter just just this past week he came um, in he came in one? during the last week of october and um, the last few days of october so he's been there for a little bit we've had a few people looking at him but he hasn't just found his forever home yet okay um, and and quickly i wanted to ask as well about uh your black friday event that was going on of course the black animals not always, they don't always stand out as much on the right. adoption floor, right. but you had some success on Friday. We did, we did over 60 adoptions over the whole weekend, so can't complain about that. Of course, we do have lots more dogs still available and cats, and um, new ones coming out every day. And with that ASPCA $100,000 challenge that you guys wrapped up, literally emptied the shelter, animals coming right back in. Though. Un unfortunately, that does happen, but that's why you guys are there. Exactly. And that's why we continue to do pets on set, hoping that they all immediately, as soon as possible, find their go forever to those homes, homes, especially those for homes. the holidays. And it sounds like at the end of this month, so in just a few days, we're probably learning more about Friday. how that challenge worked out, right? For ASPCA. Friday, we'll find out. All we'll right, find so out if we're the winners. We'll love to hear about it uh, on pets on set next Tuesday. Definitely. And hopefully, we have congratulations. And we hope for so. You guys. We and hope truly so. Truly, we do anyway for all the work that for you all have done. Yeah, definitely. Finding all the homes. We have a wonderful community, adopters, volunteers. So, so it's been pretty neat to see really how many has. have been going out. All right. Yep. Thanks so much for Thanks bringing us on this morning, Nancy.